Hey guys, it's Sharon Carpenter from Houston to New York City. Rapper Slim Thug is gracing us with his presence. We caught up with him to talk about his home city, his wild and crazy tweets, and Valentine's Day. Texas tatted on my arm. Got used to know my back. I came out here uh, to support Marcus Manchild. He a new artist. Who, who are some of the artists that you're really feeling right now? Uh, Two Chains, uh, Rick Ross, Killing Them, Jeezy, uh, new album, Jamming. Yeah. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Propane, yeah. Settle for Less, uh, Mug, J Dog, all them cats. Because, I mean, you guys basically have your own music industry right. out there in Houston. Right. And, and I, when I first met you, I was doing a story on the Houston mm -hmm. hip hop explosion and yeah. learned a lot about how, you know, you guys have done it independently. Yeah. Then it got mainstream. Now it's kind of gone back to, right. to where it was before. How has that changed the city? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Can Houston, like, explode again? The Houston generation that's coming up now aren't so much, you know, uh, the screwed and chopped generation. There's a lot of new talent out, out in Houston, man. And I definitely think in the next year or two, it's going to be another explosion. And th there are certain artists that were part of that explosion, like yourself, who have right. managed to kind of stay right. out there in the, in the limelight. I know one of the ways you've done that is through Twitter, right? right? <laughs> What's the craziest tweet? Like where you were even like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Wow. Or, <laughs> I mean, like, it's so many, you know, to choose from, <laughs> you know, so I guess I, I live a crazy life. but. Um, one that made the most noise was the one I had uh, where I took a picture in the restroom and the girl was in my lap or whatever. It was, were you using the restroom at the time? I was, <laughs> no, I was sitting down. I was actually sitting down. I got like the little stoop in the middle. I was sitting down and um, that was actually my girlfriend. You know, like we were really together for like over a year. Yeah. And, and people thought it was just some random chick, you know what I'm saying? And she actually wasn't naked, but she was sitting in my lap and I was like, you know, you better get off me before I take a picture and post it on Twitter. Valentine's Day is coming up. Right. Are you <laughs> taking somebody out? Is there a special somebody? Or? No, not right now. There's no special somebody. There's no special Several nobody. of them, maybe. I think it's just a, a cheat day for girls. It's an extra day for them to get another gift. <laughs> you know, where's I, I always complain about where's our Valentine's Day? And they got a day, what, it's in March, I think it's called. BJ Day or something like, or your girl's, now nah, steak, steak and BJ Day, real talk, Google it. And what's the most romantic thing a woman has done oh, to you? That's easy, man, it's this girl, actually she lives in New York, and um, she from Houston And it's though. not me. It's not, not you, me. nah. <laughs> but uh, she did, She for my birthday, I went to her house, she was like, come to my house, we're gonna go eat or whatever, so I walk in her house, and then it's a, a note on the um, table that says, your limo in the front, you know, so when I walk outside, it was a limo and it had like uh, balloons all in it and it was a, wow. it's, it had a, 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 um, a letter in the limo that said, put the CD in, put the CD in and it was her uh, rapping over one of my beats or whatever. Really? <laughs> it was funny. It was real creative and then when it took me to a, a, a restaurant. Well, uh, we, I said I met her at, and it was that, it, that was probably the most romantic thing somebody ever done for me. That is so sweet. It was.